What is an annotated bibliography besides something that sounds hard? It's really not that intimidating when you break it down into its two elements. A bibliography, often called a work cited or references list, plus annotations, which are brief summaries that may include some personal comments of your own. Let's start with the bibliography part. Here's a bibliography or work cited entry in MLA format. And here's what the same entry looks like in APA. So far, so good. Annotations are the new piece here, but they're not very difficult. An annotation is a brief summary of the source. An annotation is usually a couple of sentences to a couple of paragraphs long. Sometimes they should also include personal comments of your own about what you thought of the source or why you think it will be helpful for your project. The main thing to remember about creating annotations is to make sure you clearly understand your professor's requirements. Good questions to ask if they are not already answered in the assignment are, first, how long should the annotations be, and second, should they be summary only or should they also include your evaluation or other comments too? Once you know those answers, you're ready to create an annotated bibliography from your sources. Here are some tips for writing your annotations. Try to capture the main idea of the book or the article in one sentence. Jot down the main points of the source to make sure you don't leave out something important. Using that sentence and the significant points, write a paragraph or two describing the source and whatever conclusions the authors reach. Try to incorporate some of the words or terms that the work used, but don't get too overboard with that because you want to avoid accidental plagiarism. Also, if you're supposed to add comments, include a sentence or two about what you think about the issue, what this source brings to the table for your research project, or whatever other special instructions you received from your professor. Here's an example of a brief annotation with the student's reflection on how the article will help her with her research assignment. You can pause the video here if you want to read it through. So here's our bibliography entry. And here's our annotation. Now we're going to combine them to create one entry for our annotated bibliography. Insert your annotations underneath their entries in your bibliography, like this. Typically, this would be double-spaced. This is one building block of your annotated bibliography. All you need to do is create one of these blocks for each of your sources, and then list them in alphabetical order like any other work cited or references list. Here's an example. You can't see the full annotations here because there wasn't room, but this should give you the idea. Hopefully you're feeling more confident about tackling your annotated bibliography assignment. Remember that the librarians are here to help you find sources if you're having trouble, and the Writing Center is a great resource too. Both the library office and the Writing Center are located on the main floor of the Learning Commons. Good luck!